All right. Hello again, Wednesday. This is Hello Again Wednesday, number 31. I'm doing this just a little bit late in the day. In fact, I am um, going to be going to Wednesday Bible study this afternoon, 4 p.m. in just a few minutes. And so I'm going to probably keep this one kind of short, um, but it is a good one. Hello again, Wednesday 31. I'm so glad you guys are watching right now or watching later on. Make sure you like it. Make sure you uh, comment on it. Make sure you share it. Um, one of the ways to get some things out is when you just share it. So just, I'm asking you, please go ahead and share it so other people can maybe even make some comments on some of the craziness or some of the great things or some of the weird things that gets discussed here on Wednesdays. Hello again, Wednesday. This is number 31. Are you ready? A lot of times people tell you to get out of your comfort zone. Like that's going to broaden you. I understand that. I'm not going to diss that. I'm not going to go away from that. I understand it. Believe it. Even believe it. But today I want to say get back into your comfort zone. Okay. Get back into your comfort zone. And with getting into a comfort zone. Um, in fact, I'm going to hit on one. Uh, in just a few minutes, I'm always my comfort. And so this is me. This is my comfort. But today I'm going to do an either um, or. So it's an either or. Um, I like this. This is my comfort zone versus this, which really isn't my comfort zone. So whatever makes me feel comfortable, that's what I'm going to kind of zip through a list for you. And some of them might even freak you out just a little bit. Ready? Number one. And this isn't in any kind of order. I'm just going to say the very first one on my list. Ready? A fireplace over a campfire. Done a lot of camping, Boy Scouts, um, camping with family. Did a lot of camp camping. And I really enjoy a good roaring campfire, making s'mores and stuff like that. Laughing with those that are sitting around the campfire. Being very cautious about the kids that are uh, near the flames of the campfire. But it is so nice sometimes. So comfortable to sometimes just ease into that recliner kick that footstool up. I think I, I mentioned this in, a, in a, uh, another time, maybe even in a Sunday morning service where uh, Michelle um, bought recliners that are electric. So you just kind of touch a button and you ease on up. It's very comfortable. And then you click on the fireplace in front of you and it is just comforting. I will say this because um, fireplaces put out heat and yesterday was a really funny one because Connie was sitting in one of the recliners and Michelle was sitting in another. And Connie was like, why is it so hot in here? And look, well, because the windows are open where the fan is on bringing in that good coastal uh, cool air and it's still hot in the living room. And then all of a sudden there's laughter because she looks down and the fireplace is on. <laughs> but it's still comfortable. This one is the one I know is going to freak out a lot of people who know me. I love coffee. Okay. And um, I'm even because I love coffee so much. I'm even kind of trying the no sugar creamers. And at first I'm like, ah. And, but I have adapted. If it's bad, tell me. Um, I need some information on that. But right now I'm doing, um, in fact, this week I'm starting off with the, uh, no creamer, zero, zero calories, no creamer, uh, no creamer, zero calories, uh, no sugar, um, French vanilla. I did caramel macchiato or macchiato, however you say it last time. And now it's French vanilla. But here you go. Ready? I would prefer smooth chocolatey hot chocolate over coffee I, like i said i love coffee but on a cold winter's night when you've been out in sub-zero weather from uh, and i'm going to go back from childhood um a good cup of hot chocolate mm -mm -mm. if if you're out on the slopes tobogganing or anything like that mm, a good cup of hot chocolate mm -mm 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 -mm. How about, or for me, warm towels or warm blankets is my comfort zone, especially as you pull them out of the dryer as the dryer has just finished its cycle. And I would rather 
have them in my arms in comfort rather than folding them. And now that's back also to that cold winter thought process. If it's so cold out, nothing beats a nice warm blanket. Now, this and it, this might be a man thing. It might not be. I'm just going to go with this. Ready? Comfort. It would be boxers over briefs if I had to make a decision. Boxers over briefs. That's, you know, and think about this. That is why they are called tidy whities That's the reason. And so for me, I'm looking for comfort. And I'm just, I just threw that one out there. Uh, you know, like I said, if you want to make some comments, <laughs> some of these are debatable and some of them are even questionable. And so this one might be one of those that for me, I really find comfort in a kiss more than the hug. Okay. And that might be up for questions and stuff like that and debates, but yeah, I, I, I do. I find comfort in a kiss. There's just something about it on your cheek. Uh, you know, you're when your sweetheart gives you the lip kiss, you know, it's just something about it. Okay. Now let me keep on going. Now, um, this is going to really shatter some thought processes of preference preferences, but I'm going to go, like I said, my comfort zone. Okay. My comfort of use and it would be this windows over Mac. And I know there's some Mac users out there probably watching on this right now, but it would be windows over Mac for me. And I, of all the devices that I mess with, the phone is probably my hardest one. I am, I am, I am battling through that and, and conquering it. But, um, I have to admit some of my weaknesses and it's the phone, but I will say this ready. My comfort would be Samsung over Apple. And I know there's some Apple users out there. So be, let's be nice. I'm not asking for arguments. I'm just saying, let's be nice with the comments. And what is your comfort zone? Now, here's one for that I always enjoy. Um, to one, uh, one of the things to um, ease my mind on some things is to keep, or to keep my mind sharp. Um, some of you do Sudoku or however you say it, or you do puzzles and stuff like that, or crosswords. And um, I do though I do uh, pu regular puzzles, and I do uh, uh, I do like word searches, but I like Texas Hold'em over blackjack. Now, before you jump the conclusions and stuff, I do play for fun. And you know what? They gave me like, I think it was 50,000 chips or something like that. And I have acquired well over $2 million in chips playing for fun. And that is in Texas Hold'em. And uh, I guess one of the reasons that it's so high up there in my winnings is because I, I do have some hands where I, I'll lose. I don't even care. So I think I think yesterday I lost like, a, a you know, uh, let's see, I was playing with... Uh, 200,000. I, I bet I lost 175,000 in a hand. I was like, whatever. I was done. And so, hey, but it is Texas Hold'em over Blackjack. And um, how about, ready? I'm just kind of going to check. There are some comments. Andrew Christian. All right. My, my, uh, how cool is that? Boxer briefs are the sweet spot. <laughs> I love it. Hey, there is an understanding. Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. And if you really want some fun stuff, um, uh, go to, uh, and uh, I'm not promoting, but Seinfeld has an episode with Kramer and Kramer has an episode with underwear and it is pretty funny. So I just go there. I'm going to get back to my very quick, uh, what, what I like over other things. Ready? Um, pie over cake. Uh, you know, I know, uh, I, I, and one of the things that really pushed that kind of to the envelope for me was this. Um, I have some friends in, in, in Pekin, and uh, they really did this pie thing, gave it a whole new understanding for me, and it was pumpkin lush. Caroline Bernhardt, Oh my goodness. Thank you, dear lady who introduced our family um, to. So if anybody heard her name and, and is listening, give her a big shout out. I think I have her on Facebook, but give her a shout out that yes, pumpkin lush. Oh my goodness. Or, and then we've done the chocolate lush. Oh my goodness. But 
um, and, and that would slip in there with um, peach pie, uh, cobblers, stuff like that. But, um, and my mom will attest to this, uh, Betty Miller will attest to this, that for a long time, there was one year where I think I had hostess blueberry pies in my lunch for almost every day. Oh, it, that Blueberry is my thing. You know, that's my comfort. Okay, so now I'm going to throw, I'm going to get in through here. I'm going to throw one that's not in my comfort zone, but I've seen this and have smiled at it every time um, that I usually see this bumper sticker or a t-shirt. And it would be this. I would rather be fishing. Or no, no, no. It's a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. And I thought, yeah, that they're thinking of comfort in fishing. And so I kind of thought that was uh, uh, pretty cool. Um, I also saw one that, that used this kind of same phrase with golfing and uh, uh, with comfort. Uh, the thing with golfing, because I, I, you know, with, I have a problem right now, but with golfing, um, um, it, is, it is a comfort because it's you against that little white ball. It is a comfort. But it's a hard comfort because to handle because it's usually you have to pay, especially out here in uh, California uh, on the coast, uh, twenty five to forty five dollars around, and it's probably that way everywhere. It's just that's how much I play golf. I'm not really sure. Uh, in a meeting last week, um, I had I had a, a friend of mine say that, man, I live so he talking to me. I, he goes, where do you at? where are you at? And I said, Culver City, wow, you are so close to the beach. And I told him, yeah, I really don't like to brag about it. Um, keep it to myself. It's, it is five minutes away to to being on the sand. And I enjoy it. It is my comfort zone of catching some rays, catching some beautiful waves. And I did that just before coming here with my dear uh, friends, um, Pastor Mark and his wife and their grandkids. And uh, we just hit the it, beach. We were boogie boarding. It was an awesome comfort. And then um, uh, the other day I opened up Facebook. And like you probably each do and you get this. Hey, here's a memory that only you can see. But here's a memory. And I saw just the top of it. And it was the uh, most beautiful sunset. As I scrolled the picture. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. My comfort. It was coming out of the park at Six Flags. We're going to our car, and you can just see this mountain outline with the most gorgeous reds, pinks, oranges of a most beautiful sunset at Six Flag Magic Mountain. That is my comfort zone. I cannot wait to be back in it. Okay, when I talk about comfort, the list could go on and on, but I'm going to stop here with this. Ready? The South over the north now i grew up in the north right at the very top of illinois um as in uh, rockford illinois cheap trick loves park mcchesney park loves park uh young at heart man fond fond memories of the north uh with the ski bronx there at loves park um or uh uh, uh what was it oh young at heart young at heart was at the park and with Young at Heart, I actually saw Blue Oyster Cult um, uh, there at uh, Young at Heart. Also in the north, going back to that cold weather, um, fond memories. It, it is a comfort to go tobogganing at Page Park or uh, hit the hills at uh, uh, some of you in Page Park. Remember going when the toboggan chute was even locked and we still climbed up on it. I know. And we still did it and toboggan down, holding all the toboggans. Or how about Sunset Park, which is now a school, used to do uh, the hills there, to buy, uh, sledding. Um, comfort, 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 until one day um, I can remember seeing blood all over the snow. All my friends are seeing red snow. What in the world? And all of a sudden, someone goes, man, look at your leg. And I had blood all over my leg. I had actually sl sledded over the bottom of a bottle. And needless to say... Um, it was not comfort. I needed stitches, but I do, I'm telling you with all that, with the North, I do prefer the South, um, lived in Augusta, Georgia and enjoyed that for a year and a half with my dad being military, made great friends. In fact, one of them is now in Indiana. And then my folks were down in another favorite place down in Sierra, uh, near Sierra Vista, um, at Fort Huachuca, very Southern Arizona, 
just close to the border. Uh, just loved it down there. And uh, I just loved Arizona is one of my favorites. Um, my sister's a little crazy. My, my uh, Carrie, uh, younger sister, is in. She chose the northern of Arizona. She chose uh, beautiful Flagstaff with all of its snow. I choose Southern Arizona. And of course, I choose Southern California. What a great place. I'm very, very comfortable. You guys can all have the comfort in. That's the whole question. What is your comfort zone? What is your comfort place? So it might not be Southern California. It might be, let me know. What is your comfort zone? So feeling comfortable. I'm getting um, just a few minutes away from going to Bible study. Let me, I'm going to stop here with just a couple comfortable scriptures if i may psalm 94 19 says when doubt fills my mind your comfort this david speaking to god your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer man that's awesome or psalm 119 verse 50 your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles and so i'm gonna say you know when i talk about comfort zone it is more than just you being comfortable um it is a challenge to look out for others ready second corinthians chapter one verses three through seven all praise to god the father our lord jesus christ god is our merciful and the father and the source of all comfort that's so cool he comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others when they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God gave has given us. That's how it works. For more, for the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ. Even when we are weighed, when we are weighed down with uh, troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. For when ourselves, uh, we ourselves are comforted, we will certainly comfort you. Then you can patiently endure the same things we suffer. We are confident that as you share in our sufferings, we will also share in the comfort God gives. Man, there's, I just love that comfort zone. There's a lot of song. I'm, I'm, you know me, I'm about to close. I'm a big song man, big song man. And, uh, South Carolina. You know, I was talking, uh, I'm looking at the comments and I had mentioned, I believe that there are family members that would t prefer not Southern California. They are, the, and I could not remember which Carolina it was. I just saw in the comments, Southern Carolina, excuse me, South Carolina. And they just enjoyed a vacation out there on the waves too. I saw it. It's awesome. Let me close with this. Always in comfort reminds me of songs also besides scripture. James Taylor, you got a friend or um, I, I got a, I have a friend by the name of Mark Sipka, S-I-P-K-A. Look him up. He is going to be big one of these days out here in Hollywood and he's doing some videos. I've seen his, uh, his stand up comedy shows and stuff. Mark Sipka does some awesome impressions and he does Randy Newman. Um, you got a friend in me, uh, like from way, way, way back, but also made popular again in uh, toy story. Um, and then there's another one that I've always enjoyed. And that's bill withers lean on me when you're not strong. I'm not going to say it, but Hey, some things to look up. I might even post a couple of those videos in the comments for you guys to check out. Uh, maybe even Mark Sipka. Okay. So what are you comfortable? What makes you comfortable? What is your comfort zone? I do in the comments. I know that it, we are, we are two votes for boxers <laughs> and two votes for the South, maybe different coasts, but two, two votes for the South. Let me hear your comments. Please like, and share and I will see you again next Wednesday. But before I go, I am minutes away. I'm about to go make sure all the doors are open, the water's there. And we are about to have a great Bible study in the book of Exodus downstairs. If you would like, um, well, it's a little late, but um, we do have Zoom links so you can actually watch live. Um, uh, I, I probably can't get to you today because I'm in a, a rush. But hey, check us out. 
And if you do ever want to join us for our Bible study, 4 p.m. Pacific time, right now we're in the book of Exodus, and I'm about to head down there and t- and have a good time with that. If, if you're not here, fine. If you can't Zoom, fine. Check out a church near you. I guarantee you will, if you look around, you will find one, and that will be one of your comfort zones i'll see you next wednesday on hello again wednesday let's see if we can get this to transition out here huh uh here we go maybe Mm -hmm.